My name's Peter Carey. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Ames Research Laboratories. We manufacture a full line of elastomeric coatings for waterproofing basements, foundations, decks, any place you want to stop the penetration of moisture. So I'm going to start by giving you an overview of the Ames Research Laboratories line of products. Well, we're going to start off with Iron Coat, the upper left-hand corner there. That's a product, an elastomeric white coating that's white. It's formulated specifically to coat metal and corrugated tin roofs and aluminum. Comes in one and five gallon containers. Then we have Maximum Stretch Coating, which is a rubber and acrylic coating for tar, metal, granulated rolled roofing. Snow Seal, which is a bright white reflective roof coating. Super Elasti Barrier in the yellow can, which is a pure rubber base coat for those ponding tar roofs. Then we go back down to Blue Max right here. Blue Max is a very unique product, and we're going to go into detail on that product as well as the others. Blue Max is a pure rubber, highly adhesive, waterproof membrane for waterproofing basements and foundations. Liquid Rubber, which is a white version of Blue Max. Safety deck, which is a non-skid interior exterior coating. And finally, the liquid granite, which is a pedestrian foot traffic coating. Now we'll break it down and we'll go into each product individually. Now all of Ames coatings are waterborne. They're just soap and water cleanup. They're very low odor. Um, unlike a lot of other coatings, if you're going to waterproof the basement, that's a big concern to customers. It's going to be one of the top three questions they ask you if they're waterproof in the basement is does it have a lot of odor because children and elderly in the household some products they have to actually leave the house because of the odor it's so annoying not with the Ames products and there's soap and water cleanup they're also VOC free so they're very environmentally friendly they're VOC compliant and that's kinda goes hand in glove with the low odor and just the chemistry overall of the waterborne rubber coatings now our first product we're going to take a look at is called Blue Max. It's a water-based liquid rubber. This is used for waterproofing basements and foundations. This is the packaging here. It's a five-color lithograph pail. It has step-by-step -step instructions on the back. I have here a cured sample of the coating. This is the coating just poured out and then let cure. It dries in about two to four hours. You can see how that just expands and contracts with the surface. It's also highly adhesive. You can actually use it as a construction adhesive to bond a surface. We've built cinder block houses with this material. Very adhesive. It'll allow you to waterproof on the negative side or the interior wall of a basement, as well as the exterior and then backfill against it. What we traditionally do is we'll stack up a wall of cinder blocks without any mortar between them and we just coat the seams. When that dries, you can rock that wall completely back and forth. It's that bonding capability that allows you to waterproof on the negative side of the wall, so when that water pushes through, it doesn't lift, blister, or bubble. That coupled with the fact that it expands and contracts with the surface, if you get a slight hairline crack, it will bridge that and will not allow the water to penetrate. It goes on at the rate of a gallon per 100 square feet, and we recommend two coats minimum. Two coats is generally enough, but it's a gallon per 100 square feet, two coats minimum. That's Blue Max. Next product we'll go into is called Ames Block and Wall Liquid Rubber. Now, I just covered all the physical performance properties of Blue Max. So it's really Blue Max in a white tintable version. So if they're not going to finish the basement and they'd like a nice pastel off white, the Block and Wall Liquid Rubber can be tinted and it'll waterproof and also make the basement prettier for the wife. The wife can pick out a color or what, what have you. Now we're going to go up to the roof. Ames Research Labs manufactures a full line of elastomeric rubber and acrylic roof coatings. The first one we're going to talk about is Maximum Stretch. Maximum Stretch is an acrylic and rubber coating. It has very high elongation, withstands ponding water, to give you an example, this is a piece of coating here. This is an economy coating. If I can enlist your assistance, Eric. This is a, basically an inexpensive coating, not our coating. We're going to stretch this. You 
that's the economy coding that's in the marketplace. Now we're going to take maximum stretch, which this is just a cured sample of it. This rubber and acrylic, it, doesn't, it has less solids and more polymer in it. Maximum stretch also with the rubber compound in it, it withstands ponding water better so that it won't lift or blister or bubble. That goes on at the rate of a gallon per 100 square feet per coat. And we recommend two coats minimum. Another coating we have is called Super Primer. There's a lot of EPDM rubber roofs out there. EPDM is a, it's like a piece of inner tube. You'll find it on commercial and residential roofs. It just feels like a piece of inner tube. That's the primary roof on a building. We're the only people I know of that make a coating system that you can apply to EPDM roofs. A lot of schools and commercial facilities have them. And the way we do that is we use the super primer, which is a 100% pure acrylic primer, which bonds to the EPDM rubber, gives us a good bonding layer, and then we top coat over that with the maximum stretch coating. So super primer is available. That will bond to wood, rubber, fiberglass, metal, plastic, tar, rolled roofing. The only place you really need to use it with the AIM system is on the EPDM rubber though. We talked about elastobarrier a little bit. If you have a badly alligatored or cracked tar roof that's say 15 years old, the average lifespan of your average roof is about 15 years. So if somebody comes in and they have a leaky roof that's flat tar, ask them how old it is. If it's you know over 12 years old then it's probably alligatored and cracked, and that's when you want to put down super elastobarrier, which is this gray liquid rubber coating. This is pure rubber. It's two different rubbers. It's a dual rubber compound. You pour that out, and it flows into the cracks and crevices and plugs up the roof, stops those leaks, and then you top coat over that with the UV protective top coat of the maximum stretch on top of that. It's a roof system. There's also a fabric that can be put into that, which is a 42 inch wide polyester cloth fabric. So you'd laminate the fabric between wet coats of the elasta barrier, and then you put a wet coat down, lay the fabric into the wet elasta barrier, put another wet coat of elasta barrier on top of it, let it dry, and then top coat it with maximum stretch. This is a peel and stick rubber seam tape that we manufacture for around vent pipes and protrusions. It's called Ames Peel and Stick Contouring Rubber Seam Tape. It's got a self-adhesive back to it. It'll contour around flashings. This is a 6,000 square foot roof we did here. You can bridge from the flashing onto the tar. Any, anywhere you have dissimilar materials where they expand and contract at different rates, you use the contouring seam tape to bridge that so it'll keep up with the expansion and contraction. It has a poly fleece outer to it so the coating can penetrate into the tape, become an integral part of it. Preparation of the roof, here we pressure wash this roof. This is 6,000 square feet. We pressure washed it the day before. Then we went up and blew the leaves off that morning. We taped around all the vent pipes and protrusions using the contouring seam tape. Then we used a piston airless sprayer and sprayed Elasta Barrier around the skylights and around the perimeter. You don't have to coat the whole roof with Elasta Barrier. Just just your ponding areas and around vent pipes, skylights, and protrusions. That's the elastic barrier being applied. And then we top coated the whole roof with the maximum stretch. These are two inch by 50 foot rolls. It's also available in four inch and six inch. This is kind of a cutaway of how you do a tar roof. I touched on that briefly, but you've got the flashing here. You've got your tar surface. And what we do is we put down a coat of the Elasta Barrier rubber first. We embed the fabric into the wet coating. And then we apply another wet coat of Elasta Barrier and we laminate that fabric on there. And what that does is it 
girdles the roof, so if that roof shifts or moves in the future, that coating is, is reinforced with polyester cloth fabric, so it, it cuts down on movement substantially. And then we top coat it with two coats of the maximum stretch coating. So you've got the tar roof, you seam tape your seams, elastobarrier fabric, elastobarrier, and then maximum stretch. That's how you do a standard tar roof. Next product we have is Iron Coat. Iron Coat's formulated specifically for metal roofs. It has built-in metal bonders and primers. It's a bright white elastomeric coating. It's a 500% elongation to it. Bonds very well. Blocks rust. If, when you apply it at the rate of two gallons per 100 square feet, it will block rust and rust will not bleed through. Soap and water cleanup also. Great for barns, commercial buildings, old rusty roofs. Maximum stretch and iron coat are 98% reflective. Now what that means, in addition to waterproofing and being rubber and acrylic, they also reflect the UVs and the heat, which will cut down on air conditioning substantially. The University of Kentucky did a study and it reduces air conditioning costs or energy consumption by approximately 30% on an annual basis. So. Maximum stretch and, elastic and uh, iron coat are 98% reflective, so saves energy, waterproofs and seals, and extends the life of the roof. Here you can see a badly rusted, that's a barn roof there, you can see all that red rust. What we did here is we applied two coats of iron coat all at once. We applied two gallons per hundred square feet and a heavy spray coat. And again, a lot of these videos show spraying, but this can be done using a heavy napped roller or even a push broom. You don't need special spray equipment to put our coatings on. They're very do-it-yourself friendly. They just simply pour it out and spread it on the surface using a standard paint roller. But what this depicts is it does block that rust. That, that has been coated about two and a half years now and there's no rust bleed through at all. There's no dots of rust. Completely blocks it because of the polymer in the coating and the titanium dioxide in there. It has a great blocking. It can be used as a stain blocker for that matter, just as a paint on, a, on the exterior of a building for graffiti. It blocks stain really well, rust, lipstick, grease, but in this case it's very important for the rust. Then on these seams what you do is on a metal roof you'd seam tape these seams with that peel and stick rubber seam tape if it's really old. Get a lot of leaks through those lap seams. Also the fasteners. You would cut little squares of peel and stick seam tape, hit all the fasteners, hit all the seams, and then apply two gallons per hundred square feet over the entire surface. There's a big commercial opportunity here if you have outside salespeople. Metal roofs, you can count on those being a huge project, and with a huge project comes a lot of materials, and that means a lot of sales. So there's a big opportunity if you have an outside commercial person to go out and, and generate these sales by visiting your schools, your facility managers, fellow business owners just next door. I mean, it's, you, it's nothing to sell two pallets to a business owner and a case of tape. And they can end up being a five, six, eight thousand dollar sale. So th they're very good sales if you just go out and know the product, present it to your fellow commercial store owners, business people, farmers, I mean there's huge potential commercially. Next product we're going into the, our floor coatings. We make an elastomeric floor coating for pedestrian foot traffic. It's called liquid granite. That's available in six different patterns. Now that's for pedestrian foot traffic, commercial foot traffic. When you apply that you first put down a coat of the super primer and then you pour out the liquid granite pour it out on the surface and you use a trowel, a rectangular trowel. You just trowel it on the surface. Real popular on entryways, porches and landings for residential and commercial. There's a patio deck there. Somebody even did a shower with it. People do countertops with it. As I mentioned, you, just, you simply pour and spread. You pour it out on the surface. Just pour a puddle of it out. A standard trowel, it'll go on wood, concrete, you can put it directly on wood without any primer. Concrete I'd recommend super primer. Again that's available in six different patterns. It's very self-leveling, sets up in about 
three, four hours. On a, you want to, the weather conditions for all our coatings, you want to be between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Have direct sunlight, no forecast of rain, because they're all waterborne coatings. You just want sun in the sky, so you got nice direct UVs, no forecast of rain, and between 50 and 90. Elasta barrier can actually go down to 32, which is our gray rubber base coat for roofs. But everything else is between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a gentleman who did his entire pool deck with liquid granite. I apologize for the quality of this video. He took it on his cell phone and just sent it to us. But <laughs> it's pretty grainy, but what he did is he got a hopper sprayer for spraying sheetrock mud on and a compressor and a hose. And it's a horizontal surface. He masked off the pool with plastic and just sprayed it at a 45 degree angle all around his pool. Very easy soap and water cleanup. Very durable and rugged. It'll withstand de-icer, rock salt, uh, snow shovels. Very rugged. It'll withstand a lot of abuse. Plus, it's such a busy pattern, it's easy to touch up because you, you can just brush it on there and you can't see where you've touched up because it's such a multi-pattern. Next product's called Safety Deck. That's a non-skid deck coating for dimensional lumber, two by four, two by six decks, or roof decks. We have a system for roof decks. A roof deck is a deck over a living space, so you're on the second story, you walk out, and there'd be a room right under your feet. Put a chair and tables out there and that type of thing. It's, uh, you use Safety Deck in conjunction with Super Elasta Barrier Liquid Rubber Coating. Put a coat of that down on a roof deck first, and then you put the safety deck, which is the granulated top coat on top of that. It creates a watertight seal directly on plywood over living space. Or if they have an existing roof deck and they just want to touch it up, they can put safety deck directly on the coating they have on there. Whether it's oil base or latex, it'll go over it just fine. It has a non-skid texture. That, again, that's soap and water cleanup. The dry time on that's about two to four hours and you just need you know 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and that's applied at a gallon per hundred square feet per coat. So to recap as far as tools of application you can use a standard nylon bristled paint brush, a roller cage with a roller refill and depending on the roughness of the surface of course that's going to dictate what nap you want to use anywhere from three quarter down to three-eighths. Scissors or utility knife for cutting the fabrics and the seam tapes. Again, the coverage on all the Ames products is a gallon per hundred square feet per coat. And generally, we recommend two coats. So that's a gallon per hundred square feet per coat, two coats minimum. The only exception to that would be liquid granite coating, which is a five gallon covers a hundred square feet. So it doesn't go near as far. Yeah, it's very very condensed, a very heavy material. That's why it's troweled on. So a five gallon of liquid granite is 100 square feet. You can apply that with a texture sprayer or a trowel. And it's used in conjunction with seam tape and super primer on concrete for bonding. We also offer a toll free technical support line seven days a week. So on the lid of every can is the Ames Research toll-free number. You can call that seven days a week if you have an application question or a technical question and we'll be happy to answer the question and help you help you sell the product to the customer. Well thank you very much for your time. I sure appreciate your attention.